Welcome back, Street Fighter Five. Fuck Fuzzies, fucking arcade. <laughs> Fuck you guys. For anyone who doesn't know that Fuzzies Arcade was in Lakewood, New Jersey. No, Howl. Was it Howl? Oh, I thought yeah, it was. It was technically Howl. Yeah. Anyway, it's a local place that we used to, when we were kids, we used to go to. A number of us, anyway. Um, I went there for birthday. I went there for birthday parties, so I got to fucking just mash on a free arcade machine. No, my see, my dad used to bring us there out of like nowhere. If we're like, if we had time for that day, it was like we weren't doing shit. He'd be like, "Yeah, let's go to fuzzies." And I'd be like, "Cool," because my my dad liked playing arcade games too. Like he like he was legit. Like he he liked playing the games. Anyway, so we'll go there. You know, we'll, we'll, my brother was good at baseball at the time, so like we'll do like bag cages and shit. And that's when I first played Sonic Fighters and shit. I'm like, oh, this is cool. And yeah. And then he had the fucking birthday section. The birthday section. He had to pay <laughs> money for it. And he wouldn't let me in. And now they're out of business. So fuck you. <laughs> no, but seriously, they, their location sucked though. It was like it was like in the corner of like another store. And yeah, it was like I didn't even know like it was right there. all the way in the back. Like yeah, I didn't even know it was there to be honest. I didn't know from no. the time until I got invited to a party there once. Thinking about it, Blackbeard's cave is still around. If they had been in a different spot, they probably would have done better. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But it was really cool. The The main point is that that place had arcade machines you would not see at Point Pleasant or Seaside most of the time. At least at the time when Point Pleasant and Seaside had arcade machines like, you know, fighting games and stuff that weren't like, you win tickets like, they, like it is today, unfortunately. Man, I miss those days. That was fun stuff. No, not all the arcades these days have deal or no deal or some stupid shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not as fun as it used to be. Even when we went on the boardwalk, what, last year, two years ago? Like there's just there's no fighting games on the up on the arcade machine anymore. There's not really much those. to play. It's all I wonder the last same time I went to Chuck E. Cheese's, the only reason why I even walked in is because they had a fucking uh king they had a fucking King of Fighters machine. And I was like, ooh, and I walked in a grown ass fucking adult. Which which King of Fighters? I have no idea, bro. There's so many of them. You don't Yo, when I it was it was old. It was old. It was probably ninety six, <laughs> I think. Actually speaking of Chuck E. Cheese, the one in Brick used to have the X Men arcade machine with the six button lay the six person layout, right? So when I went there for like a birthday or whatever, I was like, yo, this is the greatest thing ever. We died a lot. I mean We died a lot. Well, I mean, we we replayed it right when it got re-released, and like that game's nuts. Like they just sentinels are everywhere. They're as tall as you. It's ridiculous. They're also really tall. Like that. Yeah, yeah, I remember sentinels are six feet tall normally. Yeah, you know. Well, they're pretty bad. Sentinels can't do their job or shit. So. Yeah. My neck. My neck. Shame. My shame neck. You know, just like those Nimrod sentinels, you know. I thought it was only one. Why are they called Nimrod? They well, and like I think in like one of the games, I think it was an arcade game. They like they had Nimrod in it, and like there was multiple. <laughs> I thought the Nimrod. I don't was remember. Me. No, no, it was just it was just Nimrod. All the other ones were generic like Sentinels. No, there was another. I think there. Was, nah, I could be. Wasn't there? Wasn't there like a Master Sentinel that like spat out all the small Sentinels? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they blew it up. I'm pretty sure. Sentinels suck. Yeah. They can't do shit. They're only good in Marvel vs. Capcom games. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, that's the only time you'll ever see Sentinel the most useful. Well, I guess 3 as well. That's it. I remember, I remember when Marvel vs. Capcom 3 first came out, and Sentinel had all that health and all those options, and people yeah. were bitching and complaining. So they're like, let's drop his health to like whatever fucking million like was low for that. <laughs> To be fair, Sentinel's still good. He still is. Still, like, legitimately good. And, like, all of his moves now have a fucking purpose. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say all of them, but, I mean... The, the fucking, uh, the ball thing does when he, like, reaches his arms out. That never really used to have much of a purpose unless you were at the very edge of the screen. And I guess they made it much. So, 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 so. So. That game is cool, still. No I like to watch it, yeah. It's still like a lot of fun. <laughs> so, oh my god, there's this thing I saw for King of Fighters 14. It was Keo, right? And after a match, I guess, he wins. He says at one point, he's like, yeah, that's the pepper, that's the stuff. Oh, yeah. That's the pepper? Yeah. Dr. Pepper? 
That's no! Pepper. That's the stuff. That's the spice. Yeah. No, he says that. That's like a thing. That's weird. I hate that motherfucker so much. That's hilarious. Dude, it's following the tradition that, like, fucking that the King of Fighters, any SNK game has, like, stupid, like, things written in it. You know, broken English or whatever have you. I'm like a king of, I like the uh, demo. Did you guys play the King of Fighters 14 demo? No. Yeah, I played a little bit of it. I could have sworn I hit the ground already. But, it's yeah. definitely a lot better in when it's in front of you when you're playing it or you're watching it. Yeah, I downloaded the demo. On I played it. I, I will admit it's a bit slow though. Oh, it feels slow. I remember reading up that um, someone who's like a, a prominent KOF player was like, it feels slow, but it's still the same. It just feels slow. That's because it's 3D models, probably. Yeah, I think it's what it is. I don't get why they... I don't know. They really have to go with 3D models. They could have just stayed with those 2D sprites, you know, that they made. They look good, though. They, they were... had to do something with those fire effects, though, in, like, 14 and 13. They look weird. Yeah. Or was it 12 and 13? Am, am I fucking up? I just don't get... I don't know. It just seems kind of... Oh, you bitch! It just seems oh! kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, chill out there, guy. It just seem it just seems really silly to get rid of all that for in the favor of 3D models. I would imagine like when it comes down to it, once the models are made, they're just easier to work with. Honestly, well, yeah. honestly the 3D models don't they don't look that bad. I think they look pretty No, they don't. They, at this point they don't. When they first showed them off, they did not look good. No, when they first showed them, yeah, it was rough. It was really rough. But I guess that's what they mean by uh, develop, uh, game and development. Right. But I mean, like, now, like, it looks great. I think it looks good. I, characters I like I, to use, Yori and King, they look good. I pre-ordered it. Um, oh, did you? I need to get off. Yeah. I pre-ordered uh, it on Amazon. When is it released? It's fucking August. At the end of August. August uh, 25th or something. I got the, I'm getting the limited thing. Fire ready up. It comes with this huge art book that's over 400 pages or something. Yeah. So, for 89 bucks, I don't think it's that bad of a deal. No, I don't think so. I just want to play the game already. Man. So playing that demo, the demo was fun. It was cool. Yeah. I like it. I gotta make sure next week I get Guilty Gear. Yeah, get, get that so I have someone else to play with. What about Chris? I don't feel like... Mm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I could play. Nah, that's not funny. Yeah, I play. I play with them. Oh, it isn't to me. It's funny. Well, I played with them last time, and like, I, I haven't played in so long. I got my ass beat real bad because I mean, it's like, so long. The game only came out like a month. Ago. No, I mean, I haven't played Guilty Gear in general in a long time. And oh. like, I played, I played him, and I played River too. River's pretty good. He actually, been, he's been playing that game a lot. I'll give it to him with that. That's he's so been, Gear. He's been playing, he's, yeah, it's, it's odd, because he, like, I guess he stopped playing Street Fighter and started playing Guilty Gear, and he's been playing that game a lot. And he's, uh, he's gotten pretty good at it with uh, Johnny, he uses Johnny a lot, and Kai. Kai's, his Kai's annoying, but all Kai's, he does the same thing every Kai does, and I fucking hate Kai. <laughs> be a faggot? Sure. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Funny. There's a picture I saw on Facebook, I'll show you in a second. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Jeremy, you'll get it. I'm pretty sure. Well, anyone, anyone will get it, but like, you'll appreciate it. Oh, shit. Hey, so like, that Mega Man Legacy collection, is that even worth getting? No. The what? The Mega Man Legacy collection, from what I heard, it's just literally- Didn't we like, last time we recorded talk about the Legacy collection? I don't think so. I think Maybe. so. I don't know. I don't, don't do it. My, don't, my, don't, my, don't support Capcom in their crap. You mean like I do with Street Fighter? Like, we're, we're playing Street Fighter right no, now. No, this is good Capcom. This is bad Capcom. <laughs> this is something new. Like, you know how many, like, Fred likes to talk, give me shit about buying Sonic games that re release. Like, you know how many times re release all those classic big fans? Too many. Enough. Too many. So Enough. Fuck you, Fred. Man. I love you. Yeah, yeah, prove it. Fight, bitch. Move down here with me. Why? You'll have a free room. No, I'm just playing. I'll charge you rent. But 
<laughs> Don't worry, Fred. You move here with me. What? What's the benefit? Well, you have to pay, and then you have to get your own food and do your own a whole, a whole new scenery, local fucking, fucking scenes with games and stuff. You can go. We can go and chill and play games and meet new people. It'd be great. Fuck up, man. Mm. Fuck Jersey. Fuck Jeff and Joe and Cal and whoever else you hang out with. Fuck them. You know, no, fuck it. Just bring them all with you. Yeah. Jeremy, come to. I can't. I can't. Aiken. I can't leave. You, you know how this works, man. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're both in the army. We can't just leave. Here we go. I mean, you can, but don't come I'm saying, back. All I'm saying is, Fred, if you don't want to, like, you know, subject yourself to military service, you can come down here. If you ever want to change the scenery, you can live here. What are you, what are you talking about? Love you. Are, you. are you being for real? Yeah. I ain't, I ain't coming down there, boy. It's almost like the X, we get real. I ain't coming left there, not down there, <laughs> left there. <laughs> Come to the west. We were the best. No, I'm just kidding. Damn. Did you just get, give up on the east coast like that? No, oh, east coast, beast coast, bro. Come on now. Damn. I mean, they're smashing here as we too. No, I'm just kidding. Damn. <laughs> Yo, it's just Farmer. throwing uh, throwing shade everywhere, right? Hey, that's hard. That's hard. It was fun, though. Definitely hey, so when are you going to hook me up with a new car? Yo, fuck that car, bro. I'm like $20,000, bro. No, fuck <laughs> <you>. <laughs> I'm on a I'm on an 84 month plan with that car. Ah, oh, damn. I pray I get this fucking police department job. It'd be nice. It ain't happening. Shut up. They're looking at you. It ain't happening. Not while you're yeah. not while you're in the army. Well, I can get an early separation if I start talking to them now. Not while you're in the army. Get the fuck out of the army and become a cop. You get shot in the line of duty. Everyone's happy. So, oh. do, you guys want, do you guys want a B movie too? What? You know, B movie with Jerry Seinfeld. Do you oh, want B movie? Sequel? I thought you said Bean movie. I was like, like Mr. Bean, like. Oh no! Oh, there's been movies for him. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Uh, B movie. Would you oh, like a sequel? Oh, Fred! What? You got those? Because Jerry Seinfeld's asking if there's any interest. Is he finally gonna sting that bitch? Mm, give him a minute. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow, that was stupid. Ow. Ow. The whole like plot to that movie was retarded. It pretty much said conform to society. That's all it said. I'm a bee. I want to do something else in my life, but I can't because everyone will die. Going back. Yo, she left her boyfriend to be with a fucking bee. She her boyfriend was did. My boyfriend was why, a goober. Why are we talking about this fucking <laughs> Because people keep talking about B movie. Why does it get brought up so much? Alright, you know what? I can't keep hogging the matches. I, you guys gotta play each other. Nah, man. Next good. time on Turbo Select DX, play Street Fighter 5. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs>